Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I'm a nurse practitioner. And today's video is going to be a countdown to the highest paid nurse practitioners in 2020. So I thought it would be a little fun to do a countdown in honor of New Year's. 2021 is a much anticipated year for everyone. And so I thought it would be a fun way to wrap up 2020. So before we get started, there are some factors I just want you to keep in mind that can greatly affect your NP salary. And these include your years of experience working as an NP, your background, your location or what state you're working in can greatly affect the amount you make as a nurse practitioner, the specialty you choose to work in. As we get into this list, you are going to see that the specialty can greatly affect the amount you earn as a nurse practitioner. Also, the degree you hold, a master's degree versus a doctorate degree, can affect the amount you make as a nurse practitioner, depending on where you work. The employer, so you could be making a certain amount at one hospital and down the road at another hospital, you can be making a lot more. So this is well known at Kaiser facilities that they just pay their employees really well. And if you work as a nurse practitioner at Kaiser facilities in California, you will probably make a lot more than the hospital down the road in the same city. And then as I was doing my research, I also learned that male nurse practitioners tend to make more than female nurse practitioners. So ladies, just something to keep in mind as you're doing your negotiating for your contracts. So this information on nurse practitioner salaries according to specialty, I obtained from salary.com and it was last updated in November of 2020, so it is pretty up to date. I will also include the typical salary range for each specialty because this can be so vastly different depending on the factors we already talked about. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so coming in at number 10 is a pediatric nurse practitioner and their average national salary is $107,400. So pediatric nurse practitioners tend to work in clinics, in schools, in physician offices, and they typically see patients from birth all the way up through the teenage years. They can see acute patients, but they usually perform well visits, immunizations. They can follow chronic conditions in pediatric patients. There is a wide variety of duties for pediatric nurse practitioners. Okay, so coming in at number nine is a surgical nurse practitioner, and their typical annual salary is $107,600. So a surgical nurse practitioner can assist in surgeries. They usually help manage the aftercare in collaboration with the surgeons. They provide direct patient care prior to surgery and after surgery, and they help arrange all of their follow-up care. Okay, so coming in at number eight is the psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. And their typical annual salary is $107,600. Now this one, even I was a little bit surprised about because usually psychiatric nurse practitioners are known to make a very good salary. And any psychiatric nurse practitioners that I know tend to make in the $125,000 to $130,000 range, if not higher. So like I said, it depends a lot on the factors, but according to salary.com, this is the national average in 2020. So psychiatric nurse practitioners deal with a lot of mental health issues. They manage chronic conditions in these patients. They prescribe medications. They do a lot of telehealth medicine where they work from home. They can work in a hospital setting. So there's a wide variety of jobs for the psychiatric nurse practitioner. All right, so coming in at number seven is the family nurse practitioner. So the average national salary for a family nurse practitioner is $110,690. So the family nurse practitioner probably has the most diverse role of all the nurse practitioner specialties. The family nurse practitioner can work in so many different clinical settings. They can even work in acute settings like myself. I am a family nurse practitioner, but I have always worked in emergency rooms. They can basically do it all. They can manage patients in a primary care setting. They can work in an acute setting. They see all types of patients from childhood all the way up to the elderly. They can also work autonomously in their own clinics. So a family nurse practitioner is a great option if you're not sure what specialty you'd want to go into yet because you can almost work in any setting as a family nurse practitioner with the proper training and the proper certifications. Okay, so coming in at number six is the acute care nurse practitioner and their typical annual salary is $111,133. So the acute care nurse practitioner usually works in a hospital setting. They manage pretty sick patients 
and they usually work in collaboration with the physicians. So the acute care nurse practitioners may fill a hospitalist role, they'll round on patients in the ICU. You may also see an acute care nurse practitioner working in the emergency room or in urgent care, but typically these nurse practitioners manage the more sick patients in the ICU and admissions in the hospital. Okay, so coming in at number five is the oncology nurse practitioner. And the oncology nurse practitioner national average salary is $113,396. So oncology nurse practitioners provide care to cancer patients and they work very closely with the patients and families to manage that specific care. Okay, so coming in at number four is the orthopedic nurse practitioner and their average national salary is $113,500. So the orthopedic nurse practitioner usually works in an orthopedic setting. They work closely with patients and families who have a musculoskeletal complaint, so broken bones, strains, some chronic conditions. They sometimes assist in orthopedic surgeries. They manage the aftercare for these surgical patients and their follow-up care once they are outpatient. So these nurse practitioners work very closely with any patient in the orthopedic setting. Okay, so number three on the list is the cardiac nurse practitioner and their average national salary is $114,600. So the cardiac nurse practitioner works with patients who have heart conditions, whether they are acute or chronic, they can work in a hospital setting, they can work in a clinical setting, but typically their job involves patients who have some kind of cardiac condition. You will often see these nurse practitioners on a cardiac unit. They work very closely with the cardiologists to provide the best care to these cardiac patients. Okay, so number two on the list is the emergency nurse practitioner, and their average national salary is $114,820. And I didn't know that emergency nurse practitioners are so high up on the list because I have always had an hourly wage as a nurse practitioner. And so unless I sat down and did the math, I didn't know that emergency nurse practitioners rank so high on the list. I do know that the pay range for emergency nurse practitioners can be huge. When I first moved to Chicago, I did receive a job offer from a downtown academic center for a full-time salary position. And that was actually a pretty low offer. When I did the math and I worked out what the hourly would be in comparison to what I ended up taking working for a physician group in the emergency room. So as an emergency nurse practitioner, it's just important to sit down and do the math and look at all the numbers because what they're offering you may actually be a pretty low number when you do the hourly. Okay, and then number one on the list is a neonatal nurse practitioner, and their average national salary is $125,810. So these nurse practitioners work with the tiny little babies in the NICU in the neonatal setting, and they work in collaboration with physicians to provide the best care to these tiny little babies in the beginning of their lives. Okay guys, so that is the list of the highest paid nurse practitioners in 2020, according to salary.com. There is some variation if you look at different sources. I hope you enjoyed this list. I hope it was eye-opening for you and educational. If you are deciding where you want to work as a nurse practitioner, like I said, the pay range can vary significantly based on the factors we talked about in the beginning. So make sure you do your individual research based on your location and the other factors. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get all my new videos. I hope you all have a very happy new year and I will see you all in 2021.